the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and Associated Industries of Arkansas. The State Chamber AIA is the leading voice for business at the state capitol and serves as the primary business advocate on all issues affecting Arkansas employers. Our mission is to promote a pro-business, free enterprise agenda and prevent anti-business legislation, regulations, and rules. Now more than ever, business matters. Learn more at ArkansasStateChamber.com. All right, we are joined by J.R. Davis. He is a New Talk Business contributor. He's a morning anchor with KNWA. We are proud to have him with us and be affiliated with him. He is going to be covering some federal politics as well as some Northwest Arkansas politics for us. JR, welcome to the program. All right, thank you for having me, Roby. Let's talk about you got the first interview with Tom Cotton the day after his announcement. You had him on your uh, morning show bright and early, I think about 6 45 a.m. Mm -hmm. What was your takeaway? You think that he is uh, ready for prime time? Is he ready for this race? I, I think he's more than ready for this race. I think he looked pretty good for 6.45 in the morning as well. Uh, but, yeah, he, uh, he sat on the desk with us, and we chatted for as much as you can during a regular TV program, um, news program, as far as that goes. We had about four minutes. What I was impressed about Roby more than anything else is that he, he came out firing uh, against Senator Pryor. You know, you see a lot of these candidates, when they enter a race like this, they fire back, but they kind of do so easing into a little bit. Both of these candidates we've seen already, even before, uh, Cotton officially entered. Uh, senator Pryor came out firing, and, and Cotton fired right back, uh, hammering the senator with, you know, of course, his mantra of voting with President Obama 95% of the time. So, I think he's more than ready. He's got a good financial backing. Uh, he's got a, he does well fundraising, uh, as we already know from his uh, uh, House race in 2010. So, uh, excuse me, 2012. Uh, so, I think he's more than ready, and we'll we'll see what happens. 14, 15 months of this, that's all we've got to go. I agree with you, uh, I traveled with him on uh, across the state uh, the rest of that day after you got that interview with him and with Tom Cotton. And I spent another day on mm -hmm. the road with Mark Pryor. And I do sense that Mark Pryor is ready for this fight. I think that they welcome Tom Cotton to this race. I think they feel like they can portray him as too extreme for Arkansas values and you're gonna see a lot of that. And I think that, uh, mm -hmm. as you indicated, Cotton is gonna try to t tie Mark Pryor to Obama at every chance that he possibly gets. I really think that's where that race kind of breaks down to. Yeah. Uh, one of the big things that has come up almost right off the bat, Cotton used it in his speeches, Mark Pryor talked about it um, in an interview that I did with him, health care, big issue. Mm -hmm. um, Cotton says repeal Obamacare. Mark Pryor says this thing's working. It's not perfect, but it can be improved. Do you, how do you see that debate kind of playing out with the Arkansas voters? Yeah. I, you know, Roby, I got to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to play out too well with the Arkansas voters. I think you saw the ad that Pryor ran against Cotton, calling him too ambitious, attacking his voting record and the short voting record that he has uh, so far in Congress. But that was weapons he had against Cotton. Now I think you give a weapon to Cotton's camp and saying, okay, look at this. We're already hammering him on the deciding vote for Obamacare. But now he's going out and saying that it's been a success so far. And the reason, Roby, I think that there's a problem with the way Senator Pryor uh, handled this situation, and maybe there's just not a really good way to handle the situation, you already have uh, the Obama administration pushing back the employer mandate a year. And then we see at the 1st of August, and this is a Washington Post uh, investigation there, that some of the security testing for Obamacare, as far as that data info or data entry and keeping that safe, is months behind as well. So. When all that's happening, you have Senator Pryor say, hey, this is a success. I think in the end, uh, Arkansans are going to, uh, they're not going to view that as in the best light possible. I mean, you got to remember, this is a state that voted uh, against Obama by 24 percent or, or, you know, in, or lost, Obama lost the state by 24 percent. So I don't know how well this is going to play, but I know you have a different take on this. Uh, well, yeah, but I do. I, I see that uh, Pryor is going to have to try to sell this to the Arkansas voters that it, mm -hmm. it may work out. So we'll see how he fine tunes that message as it goes along. J.R. Davis covers federal politics for talk business. He's a morning anchor at KNWA. Our time is up, I'm told, JR. Thank you so much for being with us. All right, thank you very much, Roby. After this break, our business roundtable shares their thoughts on the Arkansas economy. Randy Veach from the Arkansas Farm Bureau, Elizabeth Bowles, president of Aristotle Inc., and Mike Malone, CEO of the Northwest Arkansas Council. I'm Roby Brock, and this is Talk Business. <laughs>